It's time for the WWE Super Slam! I, I mean, drinks and lives, something about those. I wonder if I left food for four. Oh, this. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh, it's you. Okay, I'm here. Dots. Um, Dorothy? You being weird again? You don't get through the bar anytime soon. You can stop walking. Hmm? Huh? Ah, uh, honey. You want something? The usual, I guess. You should, you should. Good, she's broken. Throw her in the trash. The usual. What's wrong with her, though? Um, piano face. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Aged mixed. There you go. Here's your piano face. This is nice. 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 Okay, now you're freaking me out. What's wrong with you? Hey, honey. Do you know how do you know it's real? How can our eyes be real if mirrors aren't real? Way to fuck that up. Whatever. I mean, how do you know if what you see is an actual thing? How can you tell if what you see around you is actually happening? What tells you not everything is actually a fabrication? Um, oh yeah, that's that stupid... The cave allegory or... Allegory of the cave or something? What tells you I'm not just a simulation of a computer? You are a computer! Don't get- don't you get existentialist on me. You're a robot. I'm gonna put you in the trash where you belong. And those ponderings brought you to the bar? What? Oh, I'm in the bar. Am I? Dorothy. Real tired of your shit, Dorothy. So you're having a sophilistic crisis. This is the music that plays when you're having a sophilistic crisis. It's pretty intense. Sophil what? Sophilism. The theory that the self is the only thing that can be known to exist. <laughs> Very reasonable theory by reasonable people. See, there's another thing right there, that word. Solifism. What does that even mean? Where the hell did it come from? Well, solace alone, ipsy means self. Yes, but how did it come to be? Shouldn't, shouldn't you be talking about your disgusting pedophilic exploits or something? You know, don't, don't step out of your depth, honey. Do you expect me to believe that a bunch of people just randomly decided to make noises and decide, hey, let's make this noise means this? Yes, but it's not random. Shut your stupid robot face. This isn't random. You know, there's this whole thing called evolution, and I'm going to throw you in the garbage instead of explaining it. Because that's where you belong. Because you're garbage. It doesn't make sense. Words don't make sense. Just hit her over the head and shuck her somewhere. I've been repeating words for a long time, and they've stopped making sense. Because you're an idiot, that's why. Calm down, it's just a semantic satiation. Satiation. Is that making up words, honey? Why don't you stop being an idiot that doesn't know words? Then there's this counter. How can I be sure this counter is really here? Well, what if I told you there was a TM called for something called counter and. Oh, never mind. It is. Please stop tapping it. <laughs> I'm all about tapping, though. Hold on, just making sure. Look, if you don't believe your eyes, why do you believe your sense of touch? Should make her a drink. Very <laughs> least I'll have something to throw at her. Um So hmm. It's only the fifteenth day. I, I think one of the later visitors shows up on day seventeen. I'm not sure if that's the one from uh, Stella or not. Hopefully we'll see Stella tomorrow. If not, I'll just load a save and do it on my own. And uh, try to record that for ya. Uh, guess we're just gonna give her more piano women. Actually, you know what? You you have some absinthe. You have some absinthe. Stop tapping the counter so much. I'm this is close to throwing this at your face. Sorry. Let's start from the beginning. Since when were you having this existential crisis? It's earlier today, I think. I guess it's the robo voices in her head making her brain stupid. I always remember the good times I had with my, with my guardian, but I don't know. It was all so sudden. 
I was thinking about everything that happened from a week ago until now. How much fun I was having, how much I loved everyone around me. I guess I should be sure to read the stutters, because if anybody is not reading the text, they would miss that. You know, it's implied that she said the good time she's had with mom. I, I don't like stuttering, though. Eh. I guess it's necessary for the voice actingness. And out of nowhere, the thoughts started piling up in my mind. Is what is love? What is fun? Are those feelings real? Is all that real? Am I real? Don't you go Jaden Smith on me. What tells me I'm actually in a body? What if I'm just some computer somewhere thinking it has a body? That literally is what you are. What if I'm just a human girl in a comatose dream? That's stupid. What tells me you're, that you're real? Eh? For all I know, I might just be affecting it of someone's imagination. Hmm. Or even just an AI simulation of some computer that thinks it's human. <laughs> you're not helping! <laughs> I've been there, Dorothy. That existential doubt and crisis, that uncertainty about whether things are real. You know, I've had thoughts about life and stuff. This is one thing I never really got. I mean, wh why would why would a simulation like this exist? That's so dumb. Simulations have you know a purpose, um, and I mean, there's so much bad stuff in the world. It's pretty easy to discount, you know, some idyllic dream world where we're all virtual people, you know, except they also left in the cancer subroutine and the virus and one and the. The murders, you know, it's just accidental stuff, you know. But hey, most religions run afoul of that too, so I mean, if you believe we're all in a simulation, uh, at least you're no more crazy than most religious people, so that, so you got that going for you, which is nice. I'm gonna get myself in trouble. <laughs> anyway, don't think stupid things, just do cool stuff with your time here. You don't have enough time to worry about stupid bullshit. That is my solution to anyone's existential crisis you may be having. It's only a couple of months, but uh, remember having panic attacks. You know, the one, the, the biggest thing that keeps me going is, you know, any matter of existential bullshit aside, any kind of afterlife there is, I can't know about it. And me dying just means I don't get to have any fun anymore. Here, anyway. So I may as well live as long as I can, have as much fun as I can help everyone else on this little rock have as much fun as they can you know spread the love if i die and go to a good place cool you know i can't plan for that but you know if it happens i'm not gonna complain if there's nothing after this there's nothing i could have done anyway so who cares if i live a good life and i go to some hell because i didn't follow some God's rules, uh, that God is evil, so I don't care about not having followed their rules. So, whatever. I mean, any, any, you know, all-powerful being that punishes me for being a pretty darn good person, in my opinion, not hurting anybody, trying to spread the love, trying to, you know, just do what I do and help other people find cool stuff, enjoy themselves, trying to help people when I can. Anything that wants to punish me for that, I don't want to be with that thing for all of eternity. So, yeah. Anyway. Not to be fake deep or anything, but... <laughs> this got existential fast. I guess that was the point. That you now know my opinions. Hopefully you like them more than garbage, lowly, trash can, piece of... Okay. Calm down, Tap Tap. She's not real. The panic attack gave me a rush of adrenaline, so I could feel the scratch and the fear got worse. Wait, what did you say? I remember having panic attacks and scratching my arm to feel something. Oh. The panic attack gave me a rush of adrenaline, so I couldn't feel the scratch and got worse. Uh. What'd you do to get over it? Oddly enough, I read a book. The Last Rain in the World my favorites that is that is that's such an emo book title is that a real thing i'm probably gonna piss people off and that's like a real thing it's like tap tap how dare you not read the last reign in the world the seminal work of the poet um maya boopadoop 
who said that the life is like a tree in a meadow and it dies and it sucks. It's very touching. That's, that's my opinion of poetry right there. At one point, <laughs> I'm gonna offend everybody with this video. Good times. We've we've got a, we've got the lowly people offended already. Just any any time I see her, I offend all of the lowly people. We've got the religious stuff, and now I'm offending the the poet people. So the, all of the I'm not sure if atheist poets are a very common thing, but th they're they're also gonna be mad at me anyway. One point I cried with the book, and I realized I was crying over fake things, a story and its characters. Didn't care less for them because they were, I didn't care any less for them because they were fake. Why not think of the reality like that too? It's a terrible way of thinking about things. God damn, Jill. Even if I'm a figment of someone, someone's imagination, I'd still care about you. That's what I told myself at least. It wasn't immediate, but that focus helped me. Of course you'd like it. Heh, <laughs> I like it. Hey, can I take this drink? I made it for you. Thanks. Okay then. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I know what I'm using for a thumbnail. Phew. Why did you throw it on your head? To feel something you made. And it burns and it just. <laughs> I'll get you a towel. Delivery for Dan is. Oh, I've been here before. Mr. Mario, welcome back. Oh, Mr. Mario, welcome back. I have a delivery for Dana Zane. Who's at that? She's my boss. I'll get it for her. Right, sign here, please, for the Luigi. He sends me to give the package. It's a big package. Uh-oh, Gil. I wonder what's inside. You should open it. If it's something perishable, like a mushrooms, maybe it'll need to be refrigerated, like the pasta, after you left it over. Can, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't think pasta refrigerates, does it? Let's see. It's a wiener. A really big wiener. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Hey, honey. Hmm. The big, I hate you. The big package had a big wiener inside. What would your boss do with such a thing? I don't know. Oh, she'll cook it. Perhaps she'll chop it. Honey, it seems the wiener is too big to eat. I hate you so much. Maybe you could prepare some right now. What do you say, honey? Do you want some of your boss's wiener? I don't. <laughs> Seriously, Jill? She's oh, 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 making the joke. Oh, that's a laugh. <laughs> I wasn't even like, what? She's the one <laughs> making the joke. You're the one trying not to laugh too hard at them. Anyway. You know, if we dare cook this without her permission, she'll hang us upside down. She'll hang me upside down. Hey, Jackie boy, what's your name? It's -a me, Mario! Come on, Mario, I'll buy you a drink. Hmm. Might have another delivery, you know. This is the last one, actually. I'll accept your offer. I'll have a sun, a shine, cloud. He's gonna have a Lakitu cloud. I knew it. He, I knew he was Mario. He's real, and he is my friend. I'm fine. Sunshine cloud. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. I know it. Um. Yeah, there you go. Bronson. Eh, I'm tired of adding optional card to me because it doesn't do anything. Blended. Carmo Trine. I'm not sure I've pronounced that correctly the entire time I've been here. I think I've been calling it like Cardamine or something. Thank you. Hey, um... Call me Dorothy. You can also call me Darling for the right amount. Yeah, Dorothy. <laughs> Denied. Yeah, Dorothy. Why buy me a drink? -a? Why not buy me a pizza pasta? Just to let you know, I do not swing at that way. I swing her with a Luigi. <laughs> What way? Lillian? I'm a man. I'm a man's man. I like the man, okay? I like a Lui Waluigi. He makes the sausage. I forgot to read that. No, not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with liking women, but... Uh... 
Oh, don't worry. I wasn't hitting on you. I was thanking you. Thanking me? Your package lights. <laughs> Your package let me see Honey here laughing like an idiot. It's easier than you think. <laughs> Why does he have his glasses or his goggles strapped to his arm? Shouldn't you just put those around your neck or your head? That made me happy and I... I don't know, it fit with what she was telling me later, or earlier. I'm more calm than when I entered. Glad it to help, I guess, huh? Well, duty calls. Bye bye Mario, bye John, bye honey, enjoy your big wiener. Out with you. She seems like a nice girl, like at the beach. I don't mean it to sound like I... I get it, I get it. Don't worry, you like guys, it's clear. Speaking of, you like motorcycles, don't you? I do, yeah! Oh, he's, he's gonna go mar racing and then go have some tennis. You know, just take a take a pen tennis pill. Have you been to the motor district? I spend all of my free time in the motor district with the kart racing, actually. Why? Is it true what they say about all the legal races going on there? <laughs> You're not... You know, that's... You don't even have to say anything after that. You're not the cop, are you? As far as I remember, no. Well, I mean, there are some illegal races, but there's a semi... <laughs> semi-legal. There's also a semi-legal race league going on there. Semi-legal. The authority acknowledged that the race is going on. They don't know what goes on in them, however. So, it's illegal. Modify the engines, casualties, substance abuse, like uh, the toad. He sniffs the very funny mushroom and runs around a lot. He makes it scream like, <laughs> You know, I don't like the modern toad. I, I miss, the, the ideal for toad was Mario Kart 64. It was like, I'm the best. That was the best, that was objectively the best toad. Earlier on, it was like cranky old man. Toad on the on the cartoon show, and now it's like blah, wahoo! He sounds like he's like choking to death on something, like ready for adventure. He he's got like, I don't know. He's got mushrooms down his throat, I guess. The illegal ones end up being safer in the end. <laughs> huh. Wonderful. You heard about a biker called Christine Love? Miss Love, of course. She is the peach to my Mario, which is a me, so she is the peach. Everyone knows who she is. What about her? Is her gang as dangerous as they say? I don't know. Nobody knows. They look intimidating enough, but the truth is nobody has affected them directly. They are scary like the Bowser. Moreover, nobody wants the one that can beat into a pulp if they f turn out to be what they seem. So our gang is just there, menacingly doing their thing, not bothering anyone. <laughs> so they're they're like a standard JRPG gang that never actually does anything. Do you want anything else? I have a piano man. The man, because I like the man. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, try not to make this, you know, don't make a piano man with, you know, a bunch of teeth in it. Three blondes. Rocks mixed. There's your oops. But whatever. Yeah, this is a nice. Sound weird, but do you believe in Replibots? Those like Reaverbots? Replibots? It's a belief that, that some Lilum out there designed to perfectly replicate a particular human. Uh, considering the quality, the external quality of the Lilum I've seen so far, absolutely not. That someone or something replaces those humans with such a lilim. Unless they call them replibots. You know, you know a lot about this. I don't. It's in most magazines nowadays. That's the first time I've heard of it. Because you read, like, frickin' Enchan all day. What about it? On my way here, I almost ran over my neighbor! <laughs> Calm down, then. He just showed up in the middle of the street! Uh, I say almost because he moved really quickly out of the way. You know, when, when you try to run down people, I mean, generally they do try to get out of the way. Then I went out to deliver a package and somehow my neighbor was there. Almost immediately after the whole thing. He was there the whole time. It was someone that looked like him. He had the same looks, clothes, and mannerisms. Trust me, you know a perfect replica when you see a one. 
So the kid Lilim here, they could easily pass off as humans. No, they could not. Absolutely not. In any universe. No. I mean, their skin is pure white for one thing. There are even Lilim idol singers these days whose voices can pass off as the human. I'm so tired of doing this voice, I regret everything. But I mean, he's Mario, his name is in red. It, I, I, I couldn't not, I couldn't not do it, I'm sorry. They could be passing off as humans under our very own noses like the Bowser. Replacing us little by little, you're crazy. At this point in time, I really doubt it. Little behavior is a bit different. You usually tell someone's a little because they seem, but how do I put this? They don't care about risk and danger as much as we do. They treat risk with a lot more leniency. Still, be careful. Keep an eye out for uncanny doppelgangers. I'm leaving. Thanks for the pizza pasta pie. Please come again. What's your take on the Replobot thing? Do you believe in them? Do you? Not really, but I asked you first. When I was in high school, I had this irrational fear of aliens. Hey, LMAO. I was paranoid that they would come. What would I do then? I mean, why would aliens come here? If not to be like, hey... Humans are nice. I mean, if you think about it, if you can travel the stars and like come to Earth, um, we don't really have anything you need. Um, you know, not very impressive to any. You know, if, if an alien's gonna come here, they must just want to contact with other races and you know, chill out and stuff. There's a. Uh, Really nothing too amazing here. I mean, life-bearing planet. I mean, in theory, if you had a race that created ships that could travel, um, I'm not sure why we're so philosophical tonight. But um, in theory, if you like, you know, overpopulated your world and everyone died, you know, if your alien race was so ugly, everyone died. Oh, I can't do a Patrick voice at all. I apologize for that. But yeah. Only then would Earth be of any particular value. Because, I mean, if your ass can travel faster than light, um, human technology isn't interesting. You'd have to be interested in the whole cultural aspect. Or, you know, sightseeing or something. I remember because I lost lots of sleep about it. That doesn't answer my question. Let me finish. After many months of fears, I reached a conclusion that might as well apply here. It's useless to be afraid. Are you sure? I'm but a simple woman. I wouldn't be able to do shit against them. I guess. So I'd rather live without being afraid. N you, 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 you were just afraid of talking to one other human being. For years. And you let them die while you are being afraid. Whatever. Because the memories of not being afraid will be my only solace when the new volley crabs invade. Or I mean, when the replobots come. Jill, are you still afraid of aliens? The part of it's useless to be afraid, didn't you catch? Right. Back, did anything happen? I discovered I have the sense of humor of an eight-year-old. No, we already knew that. Did anything new happen? <laughs> exactly. They brought you a package. Ah yes, my curated wiener. It's a gift for my folks. They delayed in customs, but here it is. You guys want some of it? <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> Nothing? Sweet, I gave her the expensive drink. And it's not considered a mistake because I could give her anything. Have some pocket money. <laughs> I'm out of excuses. <laughs> okay, dang. If we do exactly this well tomorrow, we'll be, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. No wonders if Meneki Nekos. Why are one to prevent her from getting too distracted? Nope. You've been chuckling since yesterday. <laughs> Wiener. Exactly. Okay, I'm gonna read these at the beginning of the next episode because that seems to be that seems to spread out the time a bit better. Wait, do I have a day 15? Yes. Okay. Well, tune in next time for more wieners. I'm gonna get so many awful comments on this video. I already know. Don't don't even. Well, it's probably too late. You've probably already drafted your comment calling me whatever you're gonna call me. I do read all of my comments, and if anybody gets too frisky. I will remove them. I don't have a problem with difference of opinion, but um, just being an asshole, that, that I'll remove. No need for that on my channel.